in this video i will demonstrate how to use the spring cloud config server and the client to externalize the property in the git repository i have already created the git repository config server with three property file general one dev one and the broad one with just single property msg and now we have to create a application the spring uh, uh, config server so i am using the eclipse and i have installed the spring tool suits plugin inside it so we have to select the config server starter and this will set up the project for us next we have to create a property named bootstrap dot property inside the resources folder so and with the couple of property file inside it so what this will do is that when we boot up our project first of all the bootstrap dot properties will be read and it will be applied and consumed during the booting of of our application the spring boot application so it contains the server port on which this application will run and the git uri path from where it will read the um, uh, properties and next we have to add one annotation on our main class uh, the main application file so that is the add enable config server So at this point my Eclipse has got hanged. I am using the Eclipse Oxygen version July 2017 over a 4 GB machine. So it will take a little while than usual to do the import. Okay so the import has been done. Next we have to start this application, just right click over it and run as the Spring Boot app and it will start up my application and it will read the configuration files from the git repository and create a local version of or the local copy of the git property files. So now I am hitting a URL so at localhost double eight double eight my app is the name of the app and prod is the name of the uh, basically the profile in which I am I will run a particular application. So these are the property applicable for the my app and the dev. So these are the various way in which I can uh, use the URL to access the properties. So my app is the app name, dev is the profile name. So here it will show us only one property file and it depends upon the order in which it was showing up in the previous URL so it will pick up the first one. Next we have to configure, uh, next we have to create a uh, config client. So we, we need to use uh, use the same again the Eclipse Toolsuit plugin and we need to select the starter. Here we will selecting the four starter, the acute and the config client and the web and the REST repository. So next we will be adding up a small uh, REST controller inside the uh, main class of our client and the annotation we have provided on the top of this uh, but uh, controller is the at the date refresh cop at the rest what what this at the date refresh cop will do that it will reinitialize the spring bin without uh, rebooting the dependency injection container next we have to put a couple of properties inside the bootstrap dot properties so we'll create a new property file and we'll be adding the path of the config server and we will we i have also disabled the uh, security on the top of the management urls so let's run our this spring config client app and hit the url So let's check if it's reading the particular me message key or not if we are hitting that expose controller and the application name is my app and the profile in which it's running is the dev 
and yes we got the particular property right from the config server and the config server is reading this property from the git repository now let's try to update one of the property file in the git repository and let's see whether it reflects to our uh, config server and the config client or not so here i am updating the property of the uh, property value of the my dev dot properties now if i go to my client url so it's not reflected but if i go to the serv config server properties file uh, url then it will be reflected and it will be updated so for that i need to call the endpoint that is at the client side that is the refresh endpoint what it will do is that all the bins which are annotated with the at the rate refresh cop will be reinstantiated and without restarting the dependency injection container so i will be using the curl command to hit the post to the refresh endpoint So basically it will fetch the new properties from the server the config server and here is a small log for that and now we'll refresh the url and we got the updated property so next we'll see how to connect with a local git repository instead of the github so let's go to the server and the bootstrap.properties and change the git server uri to a local path notice that we have the three slashes in that path and the user home is the path that resides in your local computer that is the c drive and the users and the your username and here we will be creating one folder named config repo and then we will be pasting up three property uh, three or four property files over there and then we will committing it So here I have just one, sorry guys, one only one property file and only with one key value pair and I have changed the message to the local git. And I need to hit these three commands so to just to make it as a git repository. So our git, git repository, local git repository is up. Now we have to restart our config server app. So that it will read the properties from the our local git repository, not the GitHub repository. Now we will check the config server URL with the my, my app as the app name and dev as the profile. So it has read the property file from the local git repository. And same problem again the client code is not reading the most recent value. So we need to hit the refresh and now it's working. Next we will see how to use the placeholder in the git repository uh, in the bootstrap.properties. So we need to update the uh, the property value and you can see that I have added the application and the profile in the git server git URI so we'll close the earlier one and open up the third one that is pointing to the placeholder URI we'll stop the server Now it will look for uh, now it will look for a git repository with a name my app hyphen dev. So I'm copying one property. And let's commit it. now let's check the now let's start the server and then we will check the server url with the my app as the app name and 
dev as the profile so you can see the message that from my my app dev local git so you can see that message has been updated the property value has been updated at the server end so now we will again hit the curl command to refresh the client so that the latest property value get reflected at the client end also now we'll see how to use the uh, search path uh, feature that is being provided by the spring cloud so basically the search path will look for the property file inside the subdirectories inside the di git directories git repository so i have created two uh, basically i have created the two directories named the foo and the bar one so according to the property value what i have given in the bootstrap property is the foo and the bar dot star so if you look for the all the uh, all the directories uh, directory with the name foo and all the directories whose name start with the bar So I am now committing this new property file and the folders. Now you can see that it has updated. So for my app and the dev profile, we have got a couple of new properties. And the order in which the first property will be picked will be the order in which it is showing in that particular URL output. Thank you guys, this was a small demonstration.